everyone is your girl May's body shop welcome back to my channel and another exciting episode for you to learn something about your skin yes if you are new or you're just passing by for the first time welcome to the family please click on that subscribe button down below and also turn on your notification bell so as to be notified whenever i post a new video if you're an old subscriber thank you for subscribing thank you for your love and encouragement i truly appreciate and love you god bless you all in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you um the best routine for a dry skin type so if you have dry skin or probably your skin has always been the scaly or the very cracky type or the overly dry skin and you've used so many moisturizers and the problem persists this video is for you a nine to five worker and um you usually don't have the time to quickly do the routine before you leave or come back from your place of work please watch the video to the end i i still have something in store for you as well without further ado let's get to the business of today the major reason why you have a cracky or a very flaky skin is because you do not know how or have a specific routine for your moisturization yes you need to you need to learn how to moisturize your skin perfectly well and follow a particular step-by-step -step routine so as to achieve a very flawless smooth and supple skin so the number one thing you should do if you have a very dried or a flaky skin is to bathe with warm water yes a lukewarm water not hot water lukewarm water and um i advise that you add few drops of essential oils into your bathing water essential oils such as um, almond oil olive oil or probably your coconut oil that would do just add few drops of this essential oil into your bathing water before bathing in the morning and the second thing you want to do after bathing is not to dry your skin with your towel your skin is already dried you don't need um, a towel to dry your skin just um onto your damp skin apply the light weight gel that's the light weight gel so for um, a dry skin type you need to always take cognizance of your ingredients the ingredients in your product always look out for ingredients such as aloe vera hyaluronic acid um, glycerin make sure those product those ingredients are always in your product this will draw moisture to your skin and um, leave your skin always uh, hydrated yes if you don't get any product that is packed with aloe vera you can get a already refined or processed aloe vera and um, add some amount of glycerin into this aloe vera and then apply on your skin so these are the examples of your light weight gel so the number one thing you want to do is to bathe with lukewarm water and add your essential oils into the bathing water and the number two thing you want to do is to apply the light weight gels on your skin yes so after bathing i advise that if you have a dry skin you need all your products your skincare products in your bathroom so it's readily available for you as soon as you finish bathing just apply it um, on your skin so number one thing you want to do is to bathe with lukewarm water number two is to apply the light weight gel onto your skin the number third thing you want to do is to moisturize your skin with a very good water-based moisturizer this will help absorb your skin properly and sink in it will sink in into your skin soaking all the the gels and the lotion so there's no way your skin is going to get dried so if you do this particular routine for two to three weeks you will testify and so this um step to step routine i just mentioned is for the day this is the day routine you need to bathe in the morning apply the light weight gels and then the third one you want to do is to apply your moisturizer and of course do not forget that it's important for you to apply your sunscreen before 
you leave the house. Yes, it's very important for you to apply your sunscreen so you not damage your skin. And um, that takes us to the night routine. By the time you are through for your day-to-day -day activities and you get back home, it's important to use your well-moisturized body soap. Yes, your soap must be packed with a lot of humectant here yeah, to also draw moisture to your skin. It's important for you to note that well moistured soap and then you can now use heavy oils at night. These heavy oils will settle into your skin and will last you throughout the night till the next day. Examples of these heavy oils are the argan oil, olive oil, grape seed, um, and a lot more. You can check um, for any heavy oils that's, that can sink into your skin and that will last you throughout the night. Yes. And so for the second um, routine, for the people that are always very busy that cannot go through a particular routine, um, it's just you just need to do two things. Yeah. Just get your cinnamon and your honey. As you all know, cinnamon is very good for blood circulation. It also takes out acne. It makes you have a very clearer skin. And then honey helps to suit inflammation. It also helps to soften and supple your skin. It also helps to, to bring moisture or draw moisture to your skin. So you just need a tablespoon of the cinnamon and two tablespoons of your honey mix together to make a paste and then rub onto the affected area leave for 30 minutes after 30 minutes wash off the result is always very fantastic yes um i would like for you to do this at home and uh, please drop a comment uh, let's know what um, your reviews are about because i've had so many testimony about this particular um recipe yes it's really fantastic it works wonders on all packy or very flaky or overly dried skin yes that's all we can do thank you all for watching if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section make this particular um product if you have a dry skin make sure you do this at home and then send us your review send us your questions send your comments and let us know what you think about this recipe or this routine thank you all for watching till i see you on my next episode it's bye